Well, Heather, Heather is amazing. She has done so much for me. I love this woman. <laughs> As Alberta's health care system continues to experience pressure, local pharmacies are doing their part to fill in some gaps. She's getting me ready for my shots and saves me a trip going to my doctor and everything else. You know, when I get dehydrated and I'm not feeling well to get dehydrated, she hooks me up. Flu and COVID shots is just one service Heba Albayomi, owner of Heather's Pharmacy, provides. And it's been in high demand given doctors in Alberta experienced a pause in supply over contracting issues. But her services go beyond that. We offer so many clinical services um, that, that, like I explained, helps patients not have to see their doctors immediately, not have to go to the emergency departments and wait for hours to get the services that they need. Her shop prescribes prescriptions, performs blood work, and provides insulin to diabetic-prone people, a saving grace for some who are struggling to get a family doctor. So having a, a, yeah, the option of pharmacists who can prescribe and initiate prescriptions is very important. And while ramped up services from pharmacies is encouraging for many, Lorian Hardcastle, assistant professor for law and health care at the University of Calgary, says having a family doctor is still important, especially for chronic illnesses. Um, what we're instead seeing, though, in light of the shortage of family doctors is people are only seeing pharmacists or virtual care providers or walk-in clinics, and they're losing out on, on continuity of care when they, when they do that. Hardcastle encourages using Pharmacare for short-term illnesses and family practitioners for long-term illnesses. In Calgary, Margot Rubin, City News.